This guide will take you through installing the health center into the IBM Support Assistant. The first step is to download the IBM Support Assistant and have that installed on your machine. So that can be obtained at this URL. And scroll down and click on the download tab. The version we're after is the IBM Support Assistant Workbench. You'll need an IBM ID to download this, and if you don't have one, you can register one with the link on the page. Now I'm going to download the Windows version, and I'm going to download it via HTTP. Click on the Download Now link and save the file to your hard disk. Once the download is finished, extract the contents of that file to your hard disk. And then run the setup file from within that. This will now start installing the IBM Support Assistant. So just following the on-screen prompts. And that's it, that will now have installed ISA to your machine. Now that ISA is installed, we can now install the health center. So launch ISA from double clicking the icon, and then go to update, find new tools add-ons, and after a few moments, we get the option to install tools. Typing in health will just shortcut the tool search to only the health center. Tick the boxes, click next. Clicking next will take you to a summary of what you're about to install, which shows the health center, and then click finish. To complete the installation of Health Center, you'll need to restart ISA. Now that everything is installed, we can launch the Health Center. So click on Analyze Problem, Tools, Highlight the Health Center, and then click Launch. And that's it, the Health Center will now start. For more information on how to configure an application to be monitored by the Health Center, follow the link on the Connection Wizard page.